reformers and threats of a new crackdown as Iran's supreme leader dashes their hopes for a do-over of the disputed election. Here are the latest developments we're following right now. In a public sermon, the Ayatollah Ali Khamenei declared an absolute victory for President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. He dismissed vote-rigging allegations, criticized the massive protests, and threatened a tougher crackdown. During his sermon, the crowd chanted, Death to America! But after night fell in Iran, opponents climbed to their rooftops and shouted, Death to the dictator! And in an open defiance of the Ayatollah, they're planning another big rally, meaning that crackdown could come very, very soon. One of the few Western reporters still in Tehran right now is CNN's Reza Seya. With the stage now set for a potential confrontation, I asked Reza to take us inside Iran and give us a sense of the tensions that people are feeling right now. And I think the emotions, the feelings have evolved. It's been uh, up and down. Uh, I think earlier in the week you did so see some uh, excitement. Before that, you saw a lot of tension with those brutal crackdowns on the part of uh, riot police and members of the besieged. And now what I'm sensing is some tension uh, reemerging. We spoke to some supporters of uh, Mr. Musavi. Every day we asked them, do you plan to attend another rally? Do you plan to attend another demonstration? Uh, and they said yes. Tomorrow they are planning to attend the demonstrations, but they were clearly tense. They heard uh, the Supreme Leader's message today. He made it crystal clear that he doesn't want to see any more of these protests. Keep in mind, this regime over the past 30 years has been very uncommunicative. They've played it very close to the vest. They don't like uh, their conflicts within to be played out in the public. And that's what we've seen over the past week. So he's made it clear that he doesn't want to see any more of these public protests. And the supporters of Mir Hossein Musavi realize that this is an important day, that there may be on the verge, this regime may be on the verge of getting ready for a crackdown much tougher than we saw earlier this week, Wolf. Reza, what's the image of the President of the United States, Barack Obama? You've had a chance over these days to speak with a lot of Iranians. Uh, what are they saying about this uh, U.S. President? It depends uh, which Iranian you speak with. Over the past few days, we've extended some protests and supporters of Mir Hussein Musavi. And on several occasions, I've had people come up to me and said, we need uh, the U.S. President, Barack Obama, to listen to us, to listen to our uh, cries for help. We need better relations uh, with the U.S. He's a very popular person among the reformists, among supporters of Mir Hussein Musavi. But then you have the Iranians who showed up in mass today uh, to listen to the Friday uh, prayers and listen to Ayatollah Khamenei's speech. And this was a speech during which, once again, you heard death to America, death to America. And after that speech, we spoke uh, to many of people uh, who were in attendance, and they blamed Churches. much of the crisis, much of the turmoil that we're seeing unfolding here in Tehran uh, on America, on Washington, uh, and on President Barack Obama. Wolf. The opposition, I asked the question, uh, Reza, the opposition, the supporters of Mir Hussein Musavi, would they like to see the President of the United States get more outspoken, if you will, uh, on their behalf or, or stay uh, more uh, on the sidelines? Well, I think they do, but I think they're very realistic and they don't expect him to do uh, much more than he has done. But I think when it comes to the supporters of Mir Hossein Musavi, they're curious to see what he does. He's the key uh, at this point. It's his move. You had the Supreme Leader come out and side with President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, and now it's Mr. Musavi's turn. This is a big day tomorrow, another rally scheduled. We've had one rally after another over the past week without permission from the government. That's unheard of in Iran. We have another one tomorrow. We spoke to members of the camp, and they said they're trying to get a permit, which is something that they hadn't tried to do in the past few days. They've moved ahead with these rallies without permission. But tomorrow, they said they're going to try to get a permission. But we spoke to the Interior Ministry, and they said flat out, flat out, that we are not granting Mr. Musavi a permission for tomorrow's rally. And I want to be transparent with our viewers, uh, Reza, in the United States and around the world. You're still restricted into what you can do as a journalist covering this story. Is that right? 
Yeah, no question about it. A couple of days ago, we were limited uh, to one report a day. Earlier in the week, they told us we were limited to our uh, office space, our workspace, and we were banned from covering and broadcasting images of these rallies and these demonstrations. But it's very interesting. They told us we are allowed to attend Friday prayers. We, today, we are allowed to hear what uh, Ayatollah Khamenei uh, had to say, and we did. We did attend it. They welcomed us. Our cameras were there uh, to see his speech. Uh, and we're just taking it a day at a time. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, what instructions are going to come down tomorrow from the government. Reza Saya, we want you to be very careful, our entire CNN team over there. We'll stay in touch. I know you're limited to filing only one report a day. We appreciate it. All right, that was the uh, report from Reza Saya, his only opportunity to file today uh, for over an hour of today's sermon, the Ayatollah focused on the election, the protests, and the West. Seeing as Abby Tatton is here, she's been taking a closer look at his choice of words. Wolf, this is the Ayatollah's speech. In terms of the words he most emphasized, he most repeated. And as you can look, you can see election, you see people, not the incendiary words that are jumping out at you here. This was a steadfast defense today of the election, of the process. The Ayatollah calling the election a great manifestation of people's participation. Another thing you're going to see jump out at you, establishment, Islamic establishment, something that was repeated over and over again, reiterating the established order, the government that he called sound and healthy, an establishment that he said would never manipulate results. And then buried within all that was the crystal clear message that was, if you disagree, that if you protest, there will be consequences. And the opposition, those who support Mir Hussein Musavi, what's been the reaction? Well, we've been following online so many messages being passed around today spreading the word of tomorrow's rally even after this speech that many people listen to defiant messages in some cases saying if there's two million of us what can they do having said that some of our eye reporters that have shared these pictures with us over the last couple of days have expressed definite caution wolf saying that they heard the message today loud and clear we're gonna have much more on the story coming up this hour thanks very much for that uh, abby but let's check in with jack